So this is a demonstration of the pass-through VR. You can see the kitchen here is my favourite place for playing because it's got plenty of um, plenty of light and also plenty of floor space. And using the um, hand recognition, you can move things around in, in VR. And if we look at the web browser, we have here a demonstration of what this kitchen used to look like. So it's kind of deceptive because that's that's the same width as it was before. Um, only this room actually now goes further out than it used to. And we can spin this around. Oops. Come on. We could spin it around. What's happened? There we go. So as we look that way, the archway now has been squared out and the door um, is still there. We have a cupboard here still, but the cupboard is now um, a, whoops, <laughs> the cupboard is now an uh, art cupboard instead of what was the cupboard next to the oven. Looking this way, we've now got a doorway in this corner and a doorway in that corner that we place those. So what we can also do here, if you're looking at this, is a button here that says AR. And that will take us, if it's going to recognize me pushing it, there we are, come on. Uh, oh, it's gonna ask me to do the boundary. <laughs> takes me into what was the old kitchen. So it, it doesn't align, unfortunately. Can we align it? Let's see if we can align it. So that's why well, it's close. And Although you can't see my hand in here, you can see the, the little icon that represents where my hand is. And if I take it back into, into there. So I go into AR. And that's the way the kitchen used to look. With the fridge over in the corner and the archway to my right. And then I, if, I, if I'm looking towards the doorway, <laughs> yeah, this is quite an amazing piece of kit. So we do this. Oh, come on. We do that in the camera and stop. 